everyone. I would like to thank you all for all the support and all your subscribers. Hope you're enjoying my tutorials and these videos I'm posting. Thank you so much. Uh, this groove, I love it so much. I love this bass line. So funky and there are some tricks in it. And the more I play it, the more I feel like sync to it. The flow of it, how it starts and how it ends and like a pattern. Uh, it's on E minor. The chords are E minor, D major. It's the seventh. The C major and the G major and the F sharp have diminished. Okay, these are the chords of the progression, the form. Most of the time when I play this bass line, I use the bridge pickup. Was the harmonics like they ring more with the with the bridge pickup? But I'm going to play it like with, with both pickups, the bridge and the neck pickup. Let's start with the E. With these two, the E, I slap the E. And I play these two harmonics on the ninth fret. I strum these two harmonics. And after strumming them, I have a muted slap and a muted pop. Hammer on on the A after the muted slap and muted pop. I slap the A again. Hammer on on the B. Reverse the slap on the B. E. Harmonics. You can play the E, you can play the harmonics or you can strum the B and the E on the ninth fret. It's up to you. These are the harmonics and this is the strumming of the notes. After the reverse slap, I do a muted slap again and a muted pop again. Before moving to the D. The D is a hammer-on. Alright, I don't slap the D, it is a hammer-on. After doing the hammer-on on the D, I slap the D again. And I play the harmonics on the 7th fret. As well, I have the option to play the real notes as strummed real notes. The A and the D on the 7th fret. And I finish it with the muted slap and the muted pop. Before moving to, to the 14th fret. Hammer on on the 14th fret. On the A. Muted slap, muted pop. D the same on the 12th, 12th fret. Hammer on on the 11. Hammer on on the 14, 12, 11 on the G string. And in between these hammer ons, I do the muted slap, muted pop, muted slap, muted pop after each note. After the 11, I don't mute, I don't do a muted slap and a muted pop. Okay, only after the 14th fret and the 12th fret. So from the beginning, and now I have to move to the C. I hammer on the C, and I do a strum on the third, on the E. Because it's a C major, so the third is the E. I just block it. I, I strum the E. I can slap the C as well. Sometimes I do a hammer on, sometimes I slap it. So just slap it. After the playing, playing the third, I do a muted pop, muted slap, and muted pop. There are a lot of muted slap and muted pops, that's why I always feel confused. So, muted slap, muted pop, after the C and the third, drumming the third. Okay, 
I play the E, so the C part is slap on the C, strumming, strumming the third, the E, the high E. After strumming it, muted slap, muted pop, E, muted slap, muted pop. Strong, muted slap, muted pop. E, muted slap, muted pop. G, harmonics. G, harmonics on the ninth fret. I strum the harmonics. After strumming the harmonics, I have a muted slap, a muted pop, and I play the E again before moving to the F sharp. E, muted slap, muted pop, F sharp, and I tap on the half diminished notes. On the 22nd fret on the D string, and the 23rd fret on the G string. All right, so I'm gonna play from the C. play it all very slowly Take your time, and these tricks, like the hammer on, slap, mute, pop, uh, they are very important because like it, it starts to give you this independence between the left hand and the right hand, and that could uh, amazingly expand your bass grooves and these percussive effects that you do on the bass. So do it well, enjoy it, and play it along with the drums and the guitar. Thank you. <laughs> 